Candidates are expected to have a thorough understanding of the syllabus details outlined in the accompanying figure. Pressure of gases Pressure of gas is produced by the collisions of gas molecules on the surface of an object. When gas molecules collide with the surface, they bounce off, causing changes in the momentum of the gas molecules due to changes in their velocity directions. These collisions result in forces being exerted on the surface of the object, as force is the rate of change in the momentum. Therefore, there is pressure due to the gas, as pressure is defined as the force per unit area. Absolute scale of temperature The absolute temperature, or Kelvin temperature, is Kelvin scale. Absolute zero is zero Kelvin, this is equal to minus 273 Celsius. An increase of 1 Kelvin is the same change as an increase of 1 Celsius. It is not possible to have a temperature lower than 0 Kelvin. This means a temperature in Kelvin will never have a negative value. The Kelvin temperature of a gas is proportional to the average kinetic energy of its molecules. This means that the average kinetic energy of gas molecules increases as the temperature increases. The convert between temperatures in the Celsius scale and the Kelvin scale, use the equation. T in Kevin equals theta in Celsius plus 273. At absolute zero is lowest temperature that particles have no kinetic energy. The relationship of pressure and volume of gases when fixed mass and temperature. This is called the Bowley's law. If the temperature and mass of a gas remain constant, the pressure of gas increases when it is compressed. This is because the volume of the container decreases and the gas molecules are closer together. This causes the gas molecules to collide with the wall of the container more often. Therefore, the total force per unit area increases and pressure also increases. If the temperature and mass of a gas remain constant, the pressure of gas decreases when it is expanded. This is because the volume of the container increases and the gas molecules are further apart. This causes the gas molecules to collide with the wall of the container less frequently. Therefore, the total force per unit area decreases and pressure also decreases. From this information, we can see that the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume of a gas. The graph of pressure in Pascal against volume in cubic meters, as shown in the diagram. It is the reciprocal graph. We can write the reciprocal equation of the graph as P equals constant value divided by V. This means that the product of the pressure and volume of gas is constant. Therefore, P1 V1 equals constant value. P2 V2 equals constant value. We can write the equation as follows. P1 V1 equals P2 V2. Where P1 is the initial pressure. V1 is the initial volume. P2 is the final pressure. V2 is the final volume. The relationship between pressure and temperature of a gas, when fixed volume and mass of the gas. If the volume and mass of a gas remain constant, the pressure of gas decreases. When temperature is decreased. This is because the speed of the molecules decreases as temperature decreases. This causes the gas molecules to collide with the wall of the container less often and less force. Therefore, the total force per unit area decreases and pressure also decreases. If the volume and mass of a gas remain constant, the pressure of gas increases. When temperature is increased. This is because the speed of the molecules increase as temperature increases. This causes the gas molecules to collide with the wall of the container more often and harder. Therefore, the total force per unit area increases and pressure also increases. From this information, we can see that the pressure of gas is directly proportional to the temperature in Kevin. So, we can deduce in mathematical that P equals constant times T. 
and p over t equals constant. We can also write the equation as p1 over t1 equals p2 over t2, where p1 is the initial pressure in Pascal. T1 is the initial temperature in Kevin. P2 is the final pressure in Pascal. T2 is the final temperature in Kevin. For example, a gas placed in a sealed container. The gas is at a pressure of 100 kPa and a temperature of 290 Kevin. Find the new pressure if the temperature is increased to 315 Kevin. From this equation, we substitute P, 1, equals 100 kPa, T, 1, equals 290 Kevin, and T, 2, equals 315 Kevin. Rearrange the equation to calculate P, 2. The result is 109 kPa. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.